What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5. Uh, for those of you that are maybe not familiar with me or my channel, I've been playing Civilization for a very long time. And I realized that I never played a game as the Maya. And I think this is one of the civilizations, I believe along with Poland, that was requested uh, during my England series at some point. Um, which I actually finished not that long ago, but I didn't want to not upload Civ for a very long time. So we're starting a new game. We're going to be playing as the Maya, and I wanted to play on a map that I haven't really played before, which is going to be Pangea Plus. Uh, similar to Pangea, but with ex expanded scripting for chains of islands and city-state placement. Now, I don't know what that means, but it sounds very interesting. Uh, but yeah, I realized I've never really played as the Maya, uh, and I really wanted to give that a go. Um, because I wasn't really sure how this would work. Uh, after researching theology, receive a bonus great person at the end of every Maya long count calendar. Uh, every, uh, 394 years. Each bonus person can only be chosen once. So we get to choose a great person. That sounds very powerful. Uh, but also sounds like something that is not very, um, how do you call that? Like, it's, it's not a situational power. This is something that you can use whenever and for whatever purpose so sounded really interesting to me and we're gonna play an immortal which is the second to highest um difficulty available on a standard map let's do it and as you all know i never restart the map if i don't like my start i know that it would be very easy to do so but i honestly just enjoy the the extra challenge of uh of a re truly random start um, also, the units that the Maya get are the Atlet List, which replaces the Archer, but can be, I believe, built as soon as possible. Like, right at the start of the game, you can make these. And they're also cheaper than actual Archers. They also get the Pyramid, which replaces the Shrine, which normally only gives one Faith. And the Pyramid gives you two Science and two Faith. And apparently, Maintenance is minus one. I'm not sure how that, you know, works, but it's it seems like a really, really good building, so... Okay. What? Alright, this is good. Alright, I was worried that there might not be that much. I mean, there's some... Some things. I mean, all we have is two dyes, one marble, and eventually the deer. Uh, we are next to a river. I like that. Alright, might, might as well just settle Palenque. Palenque. In, uh, right over here. Alright, so the archer is, uh, not available, obviously. We don't have archery, so we have the Adlet list here. And we can basically make these instantly. Uh, they're quite good. Look at that. Alright, so they're pretty much almost as strong as a warrior, except they are ranged. Uh, that's really cool. I'm just going to go with the scout here, because obviously we do want to explore our continent here. And seeing as we are playing on a Pangea map, uh, it should be pretty easy to find everybody. So I do want to get to that as soon as possible. Um, so let's grab pottery, as I pretty much always do at the very beginning. Uh, just so you can, you know, access to the granary and also the pyramid is going to be really, really good. Um, so we definitely want a pyramid as soon as possible. I've also been playing some more sort of practice games um, of Civ because as you might or may or may not know, I've been playing on Immortal for quite a while, but I do want to make that jump to Deity um, at some point. Archery for free. That is useless to me. We could make the Temple of Artemis, but I don't see why I would want to do that right now. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've ever really gotten the opportunity to make the Temple of Artemis since playing on... I don't know, King? Alright. There's some wheat as well, but we will not be able uh, to actually reach this. This is a good spot, though. Immediately, this looks like a very good spot for a second city. We have a lot of deer, we have wheat, we have more dyes. I am definitely seeing some opportunities here. Uh, especially with the ocean. If there's more fish, that would be even better. Okay, we have a spearman now. That was not my plan there. But for some reason, it always seems to happen to me. Um, I'm not a very big fan of the, the spearman upgrade path. I would have... Uh, Alright, let's see. I would have preferred giving that upgrade to my scout to turn them into an archer. Well, I guess an atlet list, since we are uh, the Maya, but that's not going to happen. But yeah, I've been playing some practice games, and so I do want to try some different plays from what I normally do. 
Uh, all right, go. Someone also requested I play a game where I uh, play a wide empire, uh, which if you guys are not aware, I usually play tall, which means that you don't have too many cities, but you basically focus all of your attention on a few cities um, instead of making a lot of them. So you have maybe three, four, five cities, which are all very well built and upgraded. Um, whereas when you go wide, you make a lot of different cities. All right, let's give you an upgrade. Let's step back for a minute. I don't want this guy to die. Um, so I would like to try playing wide. I'm just not really sure if that's something I want to do, uh, in this game. All right, so these tiles are not great. We should probably try and get that marble, and we will in seven turns. All right. And then also, I'm really liking all this jungle that I see here. All right, let's heal. This could be another good spot for a second or third uh, city. We just got to see more of this as well. All right, so pottery is done. Now, like I was saying earlier, the shrine, or the pyramid rather, uh, which, which replaces the shrine, is really, really good. And so we want that in uh, our city basically as soon as possible, I'd say. Because that two science per turn... Which, you know, later on, that isn't that much, but right now we only have five science. Right, so two science would be a very, very big improvement there. And then obviously that extra faith per turn is also uh, kind of a lifesaver. So we're going to get the monument right after that. We're going to make that pyramid because we need it. All right, let's go. We got some more ruins. Okay. Oh, this guy's in trouble. Oh, he might die. He might die. He's still healing up, but if that warrior decides to attack him, then... Alright, they're not. And 85 gold. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, so we could use it to buy the marble, but we're about to get that anyway. I'm just going to hold on to this money for now. Until we find a good use for it. But uh, at least that's pretty nice. I would have preferred getting 20 culture. Because that will instantly get you to your first uh, social policy. Which is really nice. But um, I guess this is good. I like the gold. Yes, here we go. Alright, borders have grown. So we might as well just start working on this immediately. Uh, just to get that two extra gold every turn. And let's, let's go. Please be faith. Or culture. Either way. But no, we got nothing. But yeah, the biggest challenge, I think, for playing wide is going to be managing the happiness. Uh, and then also the fact that you don't really have to maybe aggressively go after growth, uh, which I normally do. I mean, it's just a very, very different play style. So I'm not sure why the game is suggesting I get a worker. Well, I mean, I do get it, but we are going to get a pyramid instead. Unless. Yeah, all right. It's going to take too long to save up for the pyramid and just buy it. But we do want this. All right, so we have some horses nearby. That's great. Let's fight. There's four horses right there. And that's quite good. I also like this spot, actually. That is not bad. Let's see. If we were to build our city right here, we would get the dye, this dye as well, this wheat, that fish, that fish, uh, the buffalo and the horses. So this spot right now is definitely my favorite, I have to say. All right, so we finished animal husbandry. We can now see everything that we need to see. What I think we should do... Let's see here. We haven't met anybody else. Trapping. We are going to need masonry. All right, we should probably just grab mining straight away. So we can cut down these forests because we would we will want to cut down at least these two forests uh, to make room for farms alongside the river because if we don't that would be a very big waste. Um, all right, let's go north. But now we know that this is a very good spot. We would also get this deer actually. This is a very very nice spot. Oh wait, this spot, that deer, that wheat, this die, fishy die, the bison and the horse. That's just good. That is a good spot. All right, so... Oh, this is tough. All right, so we do have to consider, do we want to go wide or do we want to go tall? Uh, like I said, I've been playing a lot of practice games, and I do consider these series, actually, 
practice games as well. I, was, I thought that the England game uh, was not going to go well, but it ended up quite all right. I think I want to try going with Liberty for once and getting a free worker, getting a free settler. Uh, we would be giving up on Monarchy and obviously Legalism as well, which is also quite good, and let it Elite. These two, I don't really care about that much, but yeah, that would be nice. On the other hand, we are going to get a free worker. We're going to get more production. We will... I think this might be all right. Let's go with Liberty. Let's give this a go. Um, so like I said, we're just going to try and make more cities than I usually do. Because I always make two cities. Then I get the National College. And then I make one, maybe two more. And that is basically the end of it. I'm going to try to make an actual bigger empire. Um, that being said... Please take into account that th that could easily mean that this series is not going to end well uh, for the Mayas, but at least it'll be interesting uh, for both you and for myself. Because it... Okay, let's get this guy. Well, actually, probably let's... Yeah, let's heal. Uh, Alright, keep scouting. We gotta also figure out how close we are to somebody else. I'm pretty sure there is going to be someone like over here. And there's no way that we're all alone out here. And if there is, uh, we need to be somewhat more aggressive in the way that we settle. So that is something we're going to do. Let's see. Social policy. Come on, let me look. All right, so this is actually what I'm going to do. As soon as the pyramid is done, I will start building a settler so we can settle our new favorite spot. And then I'm going to use the social policy to get a great worker. And then we should also try and get representation as well to uh, lower the uh, culture cost of policies before we start selling everywhere. Um, but yes, that will be our approach for now. Let's see what works. Let's see if it'll pay off. I don't know. All right, that went well, actually. All right, there's got to be someone out here. There's no way that we got our own island. If there's nobody, if this is like an island, if this is not the actual Pangea that we're on, and we're all alone. I'm going to settle everywhere. Like all over the place. Uh, but for now, I'm going to start just by settling there. Alright. Don't die. Oh, this guy's almost dead as well. I thought maybe he would heal, but apparently he did not. Okay. Here we go. Little hill. Still nobody there. But that does mean that we have a lot more choice of uh, where we're going to settle. Most World's most well-fed people... Apparently, some people are not feeding their uh, their citizens at all. Which is... Uh, Alright, so that's the excess food that we're making. Meaning that there are three different civilizations out there that have zero excess food. I don't know how that's even possible. Uh, but sure, you know, whatever floats your boat and such. Now, let's see. We gotta get masonry and we gotta get calendar for these. I definitely want to try and get uh, the marble first, just in case we want to grab a wonder. All right, you're good. Here we go. All right. So we'll just get that first as soon as we get our policy and our worker. Oh, we are definitely on Pangea. I mean, this is way too big to be an island with just me. I just think it's weird that there's so much... Here we go. All right, it's Polynesia. All right. I don't know what to think of him. Because I believe that random personalities are back on to make things more interesting. Um, so this could end well. This could end badly. He could be my friend. He could be crazy. Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll figure it out. Worker. All right, so get working on a settler. Let's get a bit more... Uh, production. That doesn't really seem to be helping, but at least we're earning a little bit more money. And I might as well just do that right away to uh, make a lot of money while we produce the settler. And then we really just need more production because this is going to take quite a while. Which is not helpful in the slightest. But at least we're going to get representation uh, before we get our second city. I guess that could be good. Aside from that, I'm not really... Not really sure. Look at this place. All right, get the... Oh, right, we have five more turns. All right, so we're just going to get a farm right here. That's quite okay. 
Someone chose two faith from quarries. So someone out there has... Oh, hello. He's got a settler right there. All right, if he doesn't settle his city, I might actually go ahead and just destroy that. Just to sabotage him a little bit. He already covets my lands. Is this a good idea? I would not be able to tell you. However, this is a practice game, right? I'm going to try some different strategies here. We're at war now, officially. Taking your settler. See ya, buddy. See ya. All right, so he stole his settler. He's probably going to be quite angry about that. And we met him. That could be bad because he's going to think I'm a warmonger. But maybe it's okay. I don't know. All right, we got this guy, though. Let's take a peek. See what this guy... Oh, he still has this guy here. This guy... Okay, that guy's going to destroy me. Got to be careful with that. He will murder my dude. I'm pretty sure he will not like me. All right, accept. Give me your embassy and I'll, I'll take your cash. Oh, they're friends. He's friends with somebody now. Is he gone? Still there. He is still there. All right, let's just keep walking. He won't be able to kill my scout right away. Or is this a bad idea? It could very well be a bad idea. All right, you know what? Uh, we'll see. I'm not even sure if he can actually turn that settler back into a... Or that worker back into a settler or what? That was okay. That wasn't too much damage. We're going to be able to just steal this guy. Misery is done. Okay. I'm going to fight this guy right here. All right, finish your farm. And let's see... Show me the... Okay, here we go. Also, for those of you that have been asking me, I've gotten a lot of questions lately about the interface that I'm using here. Because as you can tell, everything looks a little bit differently uh, than it usually does. I use the Enhanced User Interface. If you just Google Enhanced User Interface, you will find it. It is not on the Steam Workshop. Uh, I just thought I'd point it out. I was actually planning on pointing it out at the beginning. I forgot about that, though. But, you know, what's done is done can't help it. Alright, let's hope. if he, As long as he doesn't kill my scout, then that worker is home free. And we essentially just stole a free worker. Uh, if he does kill my scout, that would be unfortunate. But he did not. In fact, he's actually giving me free experience while also damaging his own Maori warrior. So, good for me. You know what? I think we're just gonna rush in here and just... Yeah, let's get rid of this encampment right here. Got some more fishies there. That's pretty good. All right. Thank you for the money. Let's go, guy. You're with us now, worker. All right. Got him. Let's get some... Uh, let's get some marble go. And all we need is some dyes. And we can just, you know, we can use that one die for happiness. We're going to have to sell the second one or trade it for a luxury. Let's see. All right. Go over there. You go as well. So we did it. Hey, would you like peace? Oh, he's not, he's not happy with me. Again, that may have been a terrible, terrible decision, but it does mean that he has one less city, uh, which is good for me, because if I, if, I, if I hadn't done this, he would have beaten me. I'm not into that. I'm not into being beaten. You know, it's not my, uh, my jam. Yeah, we're cool. Oh, he has some early concerns about me, and he covets my lands. Luckily for me, I don't... Oh, this is bad, though. All right, step back. Go over there. All right, because this is dangerous. We got it. Oh, this is bad. All right, so we need the scout to uh, heal up a bit before he makes that journey. What did I do with the warrior? Oh, right. He's, okay, I was fighting. All right, let's see. Can I? Yes. Buy an Atlas list. That was actually really, really fortunate because I have one gold left. All right, so this guy, we're going to send out. He's going to help our scout get home safe. Uh, and then, you know, aside from that, he's... Uh, all right, take him out. Aside from that, he's a uh, a nice extra unit. Just in case Polynesia decides to fight me. I'm going to have some extra, extra backup here. All right, don't die yet. We can make it. I'm sure we can make it. All right, go. Keep going. You're doing good. And we're also about to get our uh, our own Pantheon. This will be nice. We're obviously going to go with the one that gives us... Uh, all right. Faith from... Oh, there isn't one for dyes, is there? 
course there isn't one for dyes. That would be way too good for me. Alright, we need something that will give us faith, but all we have is die. We have one marble, but that's just not quite the same. And then also, uh, the one that gives you faith for quarries is already gone. Science, production of wonders, that's just not good at all. We could go with culture from plantations, and that would be beneficial in terms of culture. But that would mean that we're going to have to do our best to really... That one, eh. Might not be bad, but I'm not sure about that one at all. We might have to go with the one that gives us, um... Culture from plantations. The one from jungle tiles could be good as well, but we don't have a city there yet. So I think we should probably just start with plantations. Actually, culture from jungle could be really, really powerful if we settle there. Oh, uh, this is really, really tough for me. Then again, the one for plantations is going to get me, what, four, five culture tops. You know what? We'll go with jungle. We'll go with jungle. We won't see the benefits immediately. Because, well, we don't have jungle quite yet, but we will. Uh, we will get there. And we're going to make it. All right, so now it's going to take about 100 turns for us to actually get... All right, we have marble. It's going to take about 100 turns for, actu for us to actually get a great uh, profit, but we're obviously going to grab another uh, pyramid in our second city as soon as we can, pretty much. All right, let's get some more... Actually, no, you know what? We're going to cut down this uh, forest over here. This guy right over here is going to make his way to my scout. Who is actually doing all right. Will he survive that? Nope, he's going to be destroyed if he does that. Okay. But at least this warrior is not that close anymore. That could be uh, quite good. All right, so let's see. Drama and poetry, calendar. We're going to have to get calendar, if only to be able to actually get the die. And normally I'd say, let's let's see some iron, but right now I only see one spot so far that I 100% know is going to be a great spot for a city. So the iron will not really change my opinion uh, on that. All right. Keep it going. Oh, the scout is in danger. He'll survive, though. He's on a hill. He's defending. I think he might just be okay. And then, obviously, the Atlet List is about to reach him as well. Which is a very annoying word to say, by the way. Atlet List. It doesn't sound like a real word. Oh, this is bad. Did I misjudge it? I did. Oh, no. Oh, he survived. Oh, thank God. Okay, he needs to get out of there right now. Right now. All right, visibility range. All right, so if we go here, then he'll be safe from the warrior for a little bit. Um, all right, so you. Jump down a forest so we'll get some more production for our next uh, project there. We're going to get representation, like I said earlier, to reduce the, the culture cost of our policies. I mean, the Golden Age, obviously, is kind of wasted by doing this, but um, at least, we, you know, we do get a little bit of extra money and we do need representation to make sure that the culture cost doesn't go up too much when we uh, when we settle our next city. Where, oh, here we go. We've got more barbarians. All right, you're going to go after the... Uh, oh, this is very bad. This is very bad. I can't believe that it turned out to be this annoying to see. Okay, so he still settled. Polynesia was actually going to settle right here. That is amazing. So they were right about to settle, and then I stole their settler. No wonder he was so upset about all that. I mean, if this had been multiplayer, or if this had happened to me, I would be very, very upset, to say the least. Uh, but I'm also pretty sure that AI do not declare war on you uh, just to take your settler. All right, go there. Go there. Guess we're just going to keep running around, huh? All right, the analyst will now join. Okay, I see what they're saying, but I feel like settling here is going to get us those fishies, and those are really good. 
And all this would really get me is, well, it might not be bad. One, two, three, four, five. It could be good being next to a mountain and then also next to a river. I mean, that's quite good as well, obviously. Forest Plains Hill River. Also a bit of extra, you know, defenses. There is some good tiles out there. But I feel like if I just make it there, that will really give me a lot more space for growth. And that is something that I think is also very, very valuable. Um, anyway, with that out of the way. Caravan, not possible because we have no nobody to trade with, really. Library wouldn't really add all that much right now. Granary, wheat, deer, bananas. We don't have any of that. Now, we could try the Great Library, but that's going to be taken in about... Two seconds. The pyramids might be good. Temple of Artemis could also be quite good. The Great Library is not even worth uh, attempting right now. The mausoleum is quite good. A bit of culture. Pyramids give give us more workers. Also culture, obviously. And one engineer point. Great engineer point. Great merchant point. Okay. Do we need two workers, though? Is that really necessary? Or is that a bit too much? Yeah, let's just... No, actually, we already have two workers. That is a bit excessive. Uh, maybe we should try to Temple Artemis. Extra food, a bit of culture, great engineer points. Uh, and then also being able to make archers a bit quicker. I'm not really sure about this. Granary. Because the granary wouldn't really add all that much. And also growth is kind of ruined right now. we got to fix that real quick. I guess that's okay. Alright, that's that's doable. That works. Does mean, however, that production is a bit slower. Scout warrior. We could get another scout. That might actually be a good idea. Let's get another scout. Just so we can actually see everything. Oh, nope. Let's go heal. Alright, settler guy. Go settle. Alright, we're going to check out the north a bit. We haven't really seen anything there. He is going straight for my scout here. Luckily, my scout can ignore some of these. Oh, this is way, way too close. He's going to just kill my scout, isn't he? He's going to just kill my scout with this guy. Well, let's hope that he doesn't, though. Uh, but he definitely will. No doubt in my mind. All right, so... Oh, we already finished the scout. Oh, that's right. Okay. That happened quickly. Now, we could just get another settler, but our happiness is definitely not going to be that great. Great library. I guess we should maybe just get a granary. Let's see. Uh, that's alright. That's not bad at all. Alright, let's grab a granary. Let's just get some extra food then. And there you go, the great library. About two turns, I think, after I said it was going to be taken. Alright, so that guy goes after my Atlet list. Should have seen that coming from a while away. This guy actually can't get to my scout, I just realized. Because there's a river in between them. So that is awesome. Because that just saved his life. Alright, go north. Go see what's out there. Egypt, really? It's the one guy that I just cannot stand. Alrighty then. He's out of here. Got him. Now all we need is to kill this guy, or just get past him with the scout. I just need him to have a little bit more health, because one unexpected barbarian is going to absolutely destroy uh, my scout, and that would not be good at all. Am I really that dumb for liking this spot? All right, let's take a look. So we got good tiles. All 
All right, I guess it's not that good. All right, let's settle next to the hill then, or the uh, the mountain. I mean, peace trees expire. This dude, he hates me, so he will be marching an army over to my capital uh, at some point. He definitely will. All right, there we go. Yeah, you're good. Just heal. Just wait. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there since it is the first part of a series. I would like to ask you, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like as that really helps me out. And I'll be back soon with more Civilization 5. Thanks for watching, guys.